Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Wow, another day. Another ton of weirdness. <laughs> yeah. This is, I don't know, it's like living in a parallel universe, but it's a new one every day. It just gets more weird. Uh-huh. Sure does. Every 24-hour period. <laughs> I th- See, this is what third world nations go through. We've yeah. talked about the third worldification of America. Uh, when you don't really know who pre- the president is, and he's not uh, seen in public, which, by the way... Uh, it's a creepy, weird kind of thing. Today your president is Joe Biden, technically, we think. I don't mm. know. Who knows? Yeah, it is. I, I guess... Okay, so the last time we saw him in public... It was this moment when he was climbing mm-hmm. into the presidential SUV five days ago. Now, oh, for, well, first he <laughs> had to navigate the stairs. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I want to point out that he's wearing a hat. Please keep that in mind. Okay. And we'll revisit that later. Where are the mm. tinted windows, by the way? We shouldn't even see wow, him yeah. struggle getting into this vehicle. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. Okay, well... Uh, where do I go? In in the door of the vehicle, <laughs> Mr. President. Do we know where this was, Chris? I still have not been able to establish that. Um, it was said it was like Dover, but I just don't know. I don't know if that's Dover Air Force Base. Okay. So this is after Las Vegas? This is after Las Vegas, yes. Okay, now keep that in mind as well as we proceed during our story time. This is... Yeah, because I mean, there's something from- interesting involving his trip to Vegas. Uh. Uh, and then, okay, so it takes him, I don't know, 20 minutes to get into the car. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. I think he's still trying to get in the car. Sure is. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Remember the huh. agent has to help his feet and We whatnot. should get Lee Greenwood to just do play-by-play play play for it. Yes. Yeah. Wow, this is... <laughs> but he made it. It's like getting a toddler in your car. Uh-huh. Or worse. Mm-hmm. I could get a toddler. I could into the car seat in quicker time than that. Uh, So yesterday afternoon, there was talk on social media that people are wondering if uh, Joe Biden was incapacitated somehow or if he was even alive. Yeah, I mean, there were plenty of rumors abound, and uh, we we didn't know. Where's Joe? we, we, We got only evidence that there was proof of life was a letter that was signed electronically that didn't match his signature, a tweet that right. didn't sound like him endorsing Kamala, and we're like, yeah, by the way, thank you for this, Joe. This is the uh, this is what was going on on the old internet searches yesterday. Google searches for, is Biden dead? And donate to Kamala. Mm. As you can see, by the end of the day, is Biden dead? Was outpacing it by about three or four to one there. Wow. <laughs> really uh, something. Yeah. We're, so. we're in really interesting historic unprecedented times yeah so uh he showed up at an event Mm. late in the day Eh, sort of (laughs) kamala harris was at a at biden campaign headquarters in wilmington wilmington delaware and that's now her campaign headquarters (laughs) Hmm. (laughs) it you know the campaign money that was his is now hers apparently yeah because she was on the ticket, yeah. so they can just transfer those funds. If that was a completely, let's say it was Gavin Newsom, you'd have to donate all of that to the Democrat Party or some PAC and because then, you can't give it to the candidate. And then that would, of course, change the advertising rates uh-huh. if a PAC is buying it as opposed to the campaign. So this was the path of least resistance as far as money, and we know that that is the primary goal mm-hmm. of all politicians. And so although she may not be the most electable it at least enabled the cash to stay in the same coffers. So at the Delaware campaign headquarters, uh, she was there to talk to campaign staff and volunteers. Uh, so that's exciting. I'm sure they were thrilled to have her around. Of course. Who oh, they had be? to love that. They had to love that. <laughs> they clapped as soon as they saw her. They were joyous. There you go. They were clapping. There you go. They love her to pieces. And then Joe called in. Ooh. Hmm. I know yesterday's news was surprising, and uh, it was hard for you to hear, but it was the no. right thing to do. Mm. It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard mm. because you poured your heart and soul into me. Say, mm. help us win this mm. thing. Help me get this nomination. Mm. Help me win mm. the nomination, mm. and then go on to win the win the, 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 the presidency. The thing, you but know, you know, you're an amazing. His voice team. sounds slurred. I don't care We've what anybody great, says. Great, great. I think we made the right decision. 
I believe the man had a stroke. That is my... You think? That is it my... might be that. I've been kind of wondering. Mm-hmm. Something happened in Las Vegas. Yes. There was a medical emergency of some kind. They canceled everything. He was supposed to do a bunch of other events. Nope. Can't do any of it. Uh, instead, we're going immediately to the hospital. So they were clearing that path. Then they decided, nope, we're going, we're going back east. We're going home. And so they cleared the path then to the airport, and he flew out. And nobody has seen him since. Not only he flew out, he they went so fast that yeah. the reporter said <laughs> the plane was shaking. Yeah, yeah. They said they've never taken mm. off an Air Force One wow. that quickly from a, an airport. And, it and took then only the flight that uh, went back east was, like you said, uh, the reporter, I believe, from the uh, Daily Mail. Daily Mail was saying this is <sighs> wild. And so, uh. um, and the flight only took three hours and fifty eight minutes to go from Las Vegas all the way to. Dover? Mm. That's what is believed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, and by the way, my, my whole theory on the hat is whenever we do see him again in public, don't be surprised if he's wearing a hat because, and I'm completely just, this is just my assumption. Mm-hmm. I think he had a stroke. Listen closely to the clips that we have here. If it's him, could be AI. There's some people who think that. But if it's him, then uh, he sounds slurred and uh, maybe maybe he hit his head. I really don't know. But um, something happened. He's I, not all there, which is saying something. Even I, for him. I think something beyond COVID happened. Oh, for sure. Because I, I don't believe co- it's COVID. That's why I asked Chris, where was the SUV thing? Because after that happened, um, uh, after he was diagnosed with COVID, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if he had COVID uh, or not, but uh, mm-hmm. aren't you wearing a mask and stuff to protect your Secret Service agents? I mean, I thought this entire uh, Democrat Party, everyone just loved their masks. So I don't know, man. Uh, but uh, are we ever going to know? But yesterday was just another bizarre it's day weird. in 2024 America. Yeah. So we called in, and uh, he he call, he talked for a minute um, uh, about what he did, you know, stepping aside. And listen to the voice. I'm telling you, it's Yeah, slurred. listen to him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking. I know it. I know it. It is so good to hear. I'm watching. I'm watching. You're watching. Was it carried live? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's on TV. Uh, and uh, Kamala asked. Well, she that we just saw that. Um, she also said, "I know you're. <laughs> I know you're still on the wreck." What what is she about? So to, she's okay. So, so on she's the going, call on the call. She but doesn't know what this is. She's thinking, you know, is this a recording? This this is kind of feeding into the conspiracy theory that this <laughs> okay. wasn't him. Yeah. So just play the clip, please. Uh-huh. It is so good to hear our president's voice, Joe. Aww. I know you're still on the on the call. Uh-oh. Are there a, uh oh. And we've been uh, talking uh, every day. Uh-oh. Um, you probably Uh-oh. you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Jill. Uh-oh. Oh, we really do. Yeah. They truly are yeah. like family to us. Oh, yeah. And we do everybody here. You're a bad liar. It's mutual. <laughs> oh, it's mutual. I knew you were still there. You're not going anywhere, Joe. I'm watching you, kid. I'm watching you, kid. I love you. I love you, Joe. Uh. <sighs> what, what a beautiful love so fest. So gross. Isn't that so? It's beautiful. It's breathtakingly gorgeous. Uh, she took no questions about Biden's mental decline either. <laughs> Good to see the second gentleman. Good to see them, uh, you know, being able to climb stairs without tripping. Yeah. Yeah. And those are the big stairs. Those are the, the big stairs. The big boy people. Hold on. Pause and it. Pause girls. it. Pause it. Pause, well, pause it. Go back to that. Pause that last shot, please. I, I really want to see this. Uh, the very last shot. It's about to be pointless. Let's see here. What is that? Vice president. I just want to see the seal. No. Oh. Make sure she's not already made on. that change. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Hey, this yesterday is... I called him President Harris and First Gentleman Doug. Uh, so that's effectively where we're at. That's at where this we're point. at right now. Play, can we please play the first clip again? I mean, just listen to Joe Biden's voice. It's very mm. slurred. Listen to this. I know yesterday's news was surprising and uh, it was hard for you to hear. But it was the right thing to do. 
It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard because you poured your heart and soul into me oh. to help us win this. He thing. either help had his wisdom teeth taken out, help me yeah, win something, the or yeah, sir, 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 what are these shakes, the, the presidency. But, you know, you're an yeah. amazing team, but yeah. you've got a great, great. I think we made the right decision. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I think you did. Yeah, we've been we made the decision. That. There was no decision making. I mean, that's right. I'm getting Post- so pissed off at people tell, telling us how patriotic his decision was. <laughs> he was forced into it. Yeah, the New York Post has a story about how he was threatened. Uh, oh yeah, to be forcibly removed with the 25th Amendment. I mean, there's this whole thing with uh, they say that um, this source uh, says that it was a complete setup with the debate with Trump. They knew he was going to fall on his face, and so they had this planned uh, within the party echelon for a while now. And yeah, you mentioned to it, he's canceled his next nine trips. Woo, that COVID's a doozy. His next nine trips he has canceled Oh, it's uh, oh, man. it's unraveling, and I don't see this man making Something's it to January twentieth. Oh, as president, is that the Joe Robin Ed Biden that's on the phone now? Huh? He's he's calling into the show. Oh wow, huh? Okay, yes, it really was him. Then it wasn't AI, right? What a treat huh? we've got here, Mr. President. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, hello. Oh, I just. One of the calls for huh? uh, 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 Perfectly fine. Okay, you're perfectly fine. Okay. Perfectly fine. Good, 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 good. Uh, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong? Uh, uh, anyway. Hold on, did you... Hold on. Can uh, anyway, I ask you something, sir? Uh, yeah. Did you... Did you sign that letter uh, on Sunday that the said you're dropping out? Just curious. Breaking news here. Did you see my signature on it? Yeah, yeah. We, well, I mean, it looked it looked different. Then, then that was. I I like to practice different shinings of my name. Okay. And that's what I was. That was an odd time to, to mix it up, sir. Uh, but I think I made the right decision because I am yeah. completely incapacitated, but I'm totally fine. Hold on. Hold anyway. On. Are, you, are you excited anyway, about yeah. Kamala uh, uh, being the nominee? Uh, I, I, well, what I'm saying right now is I love her. You love Anybody her? Anybody who calls me a racist <laughs> during a campaign, I have a special place in my heart. <laughs> anyway. Can I just I, ask you one last question? Because this I is too much. Su- such an honor to, okay. to be talking to the President of the United States, Joe yeah. Biden, calling into the program. Just a quick question, sir. You're uh, welcome. I am great. You are and great. Do you? Stuff and everything. Do you, do you honestly so, think you're going to make to January 20th, 2025? Uh, Keith, if that's you, uh, he knows my name. Is it Keith or Chris or Dick or Harry? I don't know. Dick or Harry. Anyway, I'm not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. I'm not. You, I'm not you, going. Anywhere. Did you fall and hit your head? Did you have a stroke? Please tell us. No, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> Um, and COVID's a bitch, huh? My small intestine fell out <laughs> my rectal cavity. Oh, what? But they put it back in, in approximately the same place it was. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm better than ever. I guess. I, I'm like a 15-year-old boy. Right? <laughs> wow, okay. Anyway. I guess when you put your head up there, my you My sister is telling me I have to go. Okay. Because I just went in my pants. Oh, no! So, yeah. I'm so sorry, sir. Just got to clean that up. Got to clean that up. Okay, okay. anyway. Any, all right. Anyway. Good, good talk. Uh, all right. The President of the United States. That was wild, wow. huh? How about that? And you stepped out President doesn't time. call in every day. Yeah. That's two straight days. He called into the campaign yesterday, and he called into our show today. Yeah, so I don't think he's going to show up at the White House because he had a full <laughs> two days. That's a full slate of events right there. Woo-hoo. Man. That was an experience. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't it, though? And then uh, breaking news, Joe Biden uh, pooped in his pants <laughs> live on the air and admitted to it. Wow. 
Wow. And admitted that his something <laughs> fell out of his jack, though. Small Canada. intestine, I think yeah. he said. You're right. When, when you shove your head up there that often, you're going to yeah, do some damage, happen, right? Eventually. I mean, it's just <laughs> a law of average. It's just gravity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, you're going to bump into something, right? Sure. I mean, oh, yeah. When your head's up your rectum. Yeah. Boy, rectum. Darn near killed him. Darn near killed him. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, again, a historic time wow. right now. When was the last time the sitting president of the United States... Right. For now. Ever called into our show. That's a first. That's a first, I have to say. That was fun. Uh, so, yeah. Huh. Uh, huh. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. For uh, unexpected, for, uh, was, uh, for sure. Yeah, it really was. Um, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Let me take a minute. Tell you about Birch Gold. If you haven't been following the news, uh, <laughs> wow, you've missed some things, including a massive hit to the U.S. dollar, which came in June. Last month, Saudi Arabia didn't renew its 50-year petroleum dollar with the uh, with the U.S. dollar and doing business in oil in only the U.S. dollar. They've been doing that since 1974. And that was huge for for the, do- the dollar, for our global dominance. And now, mm, eh, it's huge the other way. They want options other than the U.S. dollar. So let me ask you, is... Is there, I mean, there's when there's less demand for your dollar, what happens to the dollar? It crashes. It's reasons like this that Americans turn to Birch Gold Group. For over 20 years, Birch Gold has helped tens of thousands of Americans protect their savings by converting an IRA or a 401k into an IRA in, in physical gold. To learn more, text the word PAT to 989898. Claim your free, no obligation info kit on gold. That's PAT to the number 989898. You know, Birch Gold has earned my trust with their education first approach. I really like it. So you can read up on it. You can see if this is right for you. You can see if you like this plan and get something that's been valuable since the dawn of time. Gold. Protect your savings with it. Before the dollar plunges any further, text PAT to 989898 today. Pat Gray Ugly. You know, the, the good part, Pat, about mm-hmm. uh, just transitioning from Biden to Harris, as uh, Pat had uh, the boy blob points out, and he made a Venn diagram because he knows Kamala loves him. <laughs> Look at there. You've got uh, uh, terrible policies is what uh, connects uh, oh. Kamala and Joe. Okay. So that, I love Venn diagrams. Yeah, you do. So, that'll so be it should be pretty seamless. Seamless transition there. Yeah, good. Did you see that um, uh, the majority of pledged Democratic uh, delegates have now endorsed Harris? Uh, so. I saw the, like the, um, the party chair in every state. In all fifty states, all fifty are covered now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and I thought yeah. I think the only thing that can stop that train now is if three hundred delegates sign a letter saying that they want somebody else. So you never okay. know what to trust with. Is Democrats. that an official thing, or did they just make that up on yeah, the fly? That's what I was just about to say. With super ge- delegates and the yeah. way they play this game, who knows? Honestly, I won't believe it until until it's a done deal in Chicago in mm-hmm. mid August. Because mm-hmm. I put nothing past them. Has Barack Obama issued a statement yet saying Not that, that he yeah. supports? Not yet. Yeah. So, um, and then I did this live stream yesterday, and Jay called in, and he reminded us it wasn't that long ago that the press had written editorial after editorial saying you got to replace Harris on the ticket for 2024. That that party yeah. hate they oh didn't like her in the primary in 2020. Nope. They don't like her now. They're just kind of stuck with her. And I just want this nightmare over. Let's, I am just, this is a scary time in American history. As long as, you know, I'd love to see the chaos as long as it doesn't result in a victory for them. Right. Because that would be uh, catastrophic. Catastrophic. I know. Um, You know, people just think she's a harmless buffoon. Right. She's far from that. No. She is an extreme leftist. People forget. I, I forgot until I've been reminded in, in the last few days mm-hmm. about just how extreme her policies are. I mean, wow. Uh, and let's take a look. All right. For instance, abortion. Um, she is the first vice president to tour an abortion clinic while in office. 
That's how important it is to her. So she Ugh. set that precedent. She's repeatedly criticized the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade, uh, says Trump is to blame. And she doesn't want any limits on abortion right up to the time of birth because they get too much flack from the extreme left if they even put any sort of time limit on when you can get an abortion. Uh, but don't worry about that. She's she's terrific. Um, she proposed as a presidential candidate a federal uh, federal abortion protections that extended beyond Roe v. Wade, and that uh, which found the Fourteenth Amendment's individual privacy protections included the right to abortion, which it does not. Um, so. Her proposal was modeled after the Voting Rights Act, requiring a pre-clearance process for states before they could enact new laws affecting abortion access. Similar law wouldn't be possible now because of the Supreme Court Dobbs ruling. Um, She has fiercely defended other forms of reproductive health care, in vitro fertilization, contraception. Um, She called on Congress to pass legislation protecting all reproductive rights as they like to call it including abortion access so you can kill your baby at any stage whenever you feel like it for any reason doesn't matter on climate change she favored the green new deal she was one of just a few senators were there 14 of them maybe who signed on to the green new deal she was one of them that was the plan to spend a hundred trillion dollars to try to control what's completely out of our control the climate uh incredible she's backed off that a little bit because uh it's an insane policy and i think even democrats know that it's ludicrous it's yeah. ludicrous and the amount of money that we spent uh, it, it has just helped to uh destroy our economy mm-hmm. I- increase inflation to ridiculous levels and one of the things we've said this whole time when it was Trump versus Biden is Trump has to hit inflation and immigration, inflation and immigration. Pound it. Since you can tie her to the Green New Deal going back before she was even vice president, you've got that angle. And also, and the as, immigrations are. as borders are, she hasn't yeah. even met right. with the Border Patrol chief. God, it's incredible. And that was your, you had one job, protect the border. You didn't even visit one time. You drove by and waved at it. Yep. Oh, he's got, he's got, he's got good angles on her. If she is indeed he, the opponent. He really does. I mean, she she was appointed the person to oversee the border and completely failed at it. 10 million, more than 10 million illegals have crossed the border under this administration and under her watch. So you know it's going to get even worse if she's elected president. Her economic policies... Uh, she has championed the Biden administration's economic policies. That shouldn't be difficult for Trump to take advantage of because look what it's look what it's brought us. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's going to be more progressive her policies than even Joe Biden's. She supports increasing taxes on the wealthy, but as a senator, she also introduced legislation that would have given a tax credit of up to six thousand dollars for low and middle income households. That'll be popular. Uh, she em- emphasized that that tax tax credit during her previous presidential campaign included uh, a tax policy platform that also had credits for renters and parents and new taxes on stock and bond trades because we just don't tax things enough. I think we all agree, right? There just aren't enough forms of taxation here, here. on the American people. We need more of our hard-earned dollars stolen from us by the U.S. government. She also wants to tax fossil fuel companies more aggressively and pharmaceutical companies, even though they're in love with pharmaceuticals now. <laughs> they still continue. <laughs> while, while they embrace them uh, with one hand, they've got a knife at their back with the other. Yeah, this traces back to getting Obamacare passed. Yeah. Uh, she's a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Absolute nightmare. Can you imagine? This is one of the things we mused yesterday, is that um, I, I can't even begin to imagine sitting here for four years of playing Kamala cackling clips every day. Ugh. 
I, that's I don't know if I can do it. That's vomitous, man. Oof. No, thank you. <laughs> we got to make sure this does not happen, America. Yeah. I mean, Trump has to be on this. And I hope they have a strategy. I was reading that they do. Uh, so we'll see if it's effective. We'll see how they take her on. Uh, and, and the weird thing is, she might not even be the nominee, though. So then you wasted all this time on her, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and in steps somebody else. Who knows what they're going to do? They're going to pull something at the convention. I, I don't think it's going to go smoothly for them. And just, all right, so Joe, he endorsed her. Everybody's on board, right? <laughs> She's wonderful now. Well, I just got a message from someone uh, with their finger on the pulse of American politics, and, and they're suggesting that uh, they, they realize that the bed that they've made on the Democrat side, and they want this nightmare that is Kamala Harris to just go away, and they actually hope they lose, which oh. I, which I, I have thought mm. is a possibility in that, and as far as it related to RFK. In other words, Democrats would rather lose to Donald Trump and fundraise off of him, uh, demonize him for the midterms, and then heading into 2028, than have a president with a D after his name, RFK, that mm-hmm. they can't play ball with. And so they would get more as a party out of having a Trump presidency than a Robert Kennedy. So mm. now you apply this to Kamala, and they can't stand her and see her as a dead end, and then it's a way to get rid of her, and then okay. they can go and demonize Trump for four years. Yeah, maybe. Look, you know what? Demonize him all you want. I just want Trump. Yeah. I don't want Harris, man. Right. <laughs> However it happens, yeah. I'm okay with it. I'm on board. Get him in there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Secret Service Director Kimber- Kimberly Cheadle was in front of Congress yesterday. Oh. That was fun. Oh, I've never seen a hearing like that in Congress. Wow. Where both sides were just... Both sides! Full bore. It was non-stop. Yeah. Democrats yeah. were getting after her. You see, normally the, the, if you have a witness that one side can't stand him and one side loves him or defends mm-hmm. him at least... And so you get a breather, you know? It's like, oh, the Republican's going to bash me. Oh, here's a friend. A Republican's going to bash me. Oh, here's a friend. No, yesterday, Not yesterday. It was... Dude, 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 it was nonstop. I know. I watched it with my 13-year-old, and he was like, I didn't tell him anything what it was. I said, Milo, come over here and watch this with me. <laughs> and he goes, what did she do? What do... Why are they yelling at her? Are they allowed to do that? <laughs> it was entertaining, was it, it not? It was very entertaining. It was so It was fun. the best three hours I've seen. Oh, it was so good. If you're her, how do you survive this? I, I mean, it was withering. She yesterday. took it though. She did. She I, took it. I, I seriously she did. I I made a prediction, and I hate making predictions online because they're out there forever now. Uh-huh. That uh, by the, that's time tomorrow. So I got about six more hours here that she would not be the director. I I feel that. How do you not resign before you leave? So you that think by twelve thirty today? Yeah, yeah. How do you not resign huh. before you leave that room? I after don't know what happened. I really don't know. Again, there's a lot of speculation she was going to, but she didn't. She didn't. No, there's no consequences for any of these actions. That there, there's no consequences and, at it, all. Yeah, and and when the hearing was over, and James Comer recommended that. Um, uh, she resigned. Jamie Raskin did the same. I mean, you had you had by bi- you want to see bipartisanship? Watch mm. yesterday's hearing. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> and we've got the Comer. Uh, we've got him talking to Kimberly. Uh, here's that exchange. Budget of around three point one billion dollars, <coughs> and I believe around eight thousand employees. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Obviously, there were many security failures on the day of the attempted assassination and leading up to that day. Let's start with the building that the shooter used to shoot President Trump from. At any point Saturday, did the Secret Service have an agent on top of that roof? Sir, I'm sure as you can imagine that we are just nine days out from oh. this uh, incident. Answer and the there's still question. an ongoing investigation. And so I want to make sure that any information that we are providing so, to you so, is so factual. You, you can't, okay. Why did the Secret Service not, can you answer why the Secret Service didn't place a single agent on the roof? Listen. We are still looking into the advanced process and the decisions right, that were right. made. Okay, okay. Let's, wasn't that building within the perimeter mm. that should be secured? Do we agree with that? Uh, sure the building again. was outside of the perimeter on the day of the visit. But again, that is one of the uh, things that during the investigation we want to take a look at and determine whether sure. or not other sure. decisions should have been made. Huh. Yeah. It was apparently too hot on the roof. That's what the they're agent. saying now. <laughs> yeah. There was a... They sent somebody up there, but it was too hot. <laughs> <laughs> ah!
Pat Gray Unleashed. Some tweets here. Dirty Mule tweets. Hmm. Pat was curiously quiet during that Biden interview. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Keith had it covered. I, I, just, I was surprised you didn't yeah. chime in. Is your chance to talk to the uh, president? I asked him all the questions that I was thinking. So. Well, not just that. You know, we there. know that you don't like the president, and you kind of right. held yourself back. That's right. Oh, out of respect right. for the office. Out of respect for the office. That's so you don't wanna, exactly. Yeah. Well played. Heat hug eighty eight. How much does this compare to Woodrow Wilson's exit from the White House? I uh, really closely. It compares very favorably. I. <laughs> The only, you know, I mean, he was completely incapacitated when he had that stroke toward the end of his administration. It was, I think, a year and a half, something to that effect. And so Edith just took over. Could you see Jill Biden doing the same thing? Absolutely. If it weren't for Barack Obama, I would think she's running things right now. (laughs) If it weren't for Obama and Soros and some other deep staters, you might think that's Jill Biden. She's the one in control. Uh, Carl Smith, with Joe isolating and Kamala campaigning, does anyone know who's going to answer that phone when it rings at 3 a.m.? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Uh, man. I guess it'll be the head nurse. <laughs> Which is Jill Biden. <laughs> the doctor. Right. High Plains Stranger, I'm flabbergasted that there are still Democrat voters that think the Biden ousting was on the up and up. <laughs> they couldn't smell a rotten fish if it was strapped to their face. Yeah. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yesterday, of course, we had the big hearing involving Kimberly Cheadle, who heads up the Secret Service. Um, so this is this is going to be fun. This is some good eating right here. <laughs> oh, it's going to be <laughs> both. Fun. Barrels. So both sides of the aisle were pissed off at her. Mm-hmm. You know, they would like it if um, politicians were protected properly. You know, they're politicians themselves. So I think this one hit pretty close to home. So Jim Jordan uh, had some things to say. To the president and the vice president. Talk to the first lady. No, I have not. Talk to the White House staff. Anyone in the White House communications? No, I have not. Have you talked to the counter sniper hmm. who took the shot that took out the bad guy? Yes, I have. And can you tell us about that conversation? I would not want to reveal conversations that I've had with my employees. But that's exactly the kind of information the American people want to know. Mm-hmm. American people who pay your salary. Yeah. I understand. This is an ongoing investigation. And I Who's want- all doing the investigating at Secret Service? I know the Inspector General, but is there also an internal investigation in addition to the Inspector General? We are conducting a mission assurance investigation internally, yes. You know what it looks like, Director? It looks like you won't answer some pretty basic questions. It looks like you got a 9% mm-hmm. raise and you cut corners when it came to protecting one of the most important individuals, most well-known individuals on the planet. A former mm-hmm. president, likely the guy's going to be the next president. Looks like you guys were cutting corners. That's what it looks like to me. Well, it only looks that way because it was that way. <laughs> and it is that way. So, <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. Wouldn't worry about it. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Mm-hmm. She was oh, amazing. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And actually, your sheet wow. says we have one clip from her. We actually have back to back coming up here. She okay. was very good. Mm. You established earlier that the building upon which the shooter uh, operated from was outside of that established perimeter, correct, for the Butler, Pennsylvania event? It was outside of our secure perimeter, yes. Now, that um, that building was, I believe, 500. How far away was that building from, from the president? Uh, it was approximately 200 yards. 200 yards. Now, <laughs> the individual uh, used an AR-15 in order to uh, act out his assassination attempt. An AR-15 has a range of about four to 600 yards. My question is, why does the Secret Service perimeter, um, why is the Secret Service protective perimeter Mm -hmm. shorter than one of the most popular semi-automatic weapons in the United States? Oh, good question. Oh. There are a number of weapons out there. Yeah. uh, Why? Ranges. Uh, Again, an advance was completed. The question isn't, 
how many weapons have this range? It's why isn't that within your security perimeter? Mm Mm-hmm. When it is within range of many weapons, as you're saying here. Why didn't you protect him? <laughs> and the crowd, you know, it's it's important to remember that, by all accounts, a really good man lost his life oh, I, for I, no all reason. All I could think about was him and his family yesterday watching the incompetence yeah. on display. My gosh. Thinking this was so avoidable at so many points yeah. of the thir- Saturday the 13th. Senseless. All right, let her finish. Weapons out there uh, with a number of ranges. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, an advance was completed. Uh, the determination of the perimeter, I'm not going to speak to specifics, but there are a number of factors that are taken into account including to determine our perimeter uh, some of it has to do with terrain some of it has to do with buildings some of it has to do with assets and resources huh. uh, that are available oh, and so what i'm what i'm hearing is that a perimeter was not established outdoors in an outdoor venue that would prevent an ar15 which is one of the most common weapons used in mass shootings um, from mm-hmm. being able to to be within the range of secret service protection perimeter was established and even though there were buildings that were outside of that perimeter it wasn't just that building there were a number of buildings in the area uh and there was overwatch that was created to help mitigate overwatch. some of those buildings mm. so well they did a really good job didn't they of yeah. mitigating some of those buildings overwatch just not the probably the most important one that was uh the one now, used I, i'm sure aoc is trying to make the point that look at this powerful weapon that is, she is, is, yeah. is the most commonly used one, blah, blah, blah. But it was still an excellent point, regardless yeah, of her motivation was. for asking it. Yeah, most of the Democrats that were trying to point out that like, weapons are bad. Oh, Please gosh. tell us that weapons are bad. Yeah. Oh, wait, uh, we'll, we'll, get to, oh, we'll get to that one. Oh, that's the greatest clip. So anyway, we got another AOC here. This is good. The notion of a report coming out in 60 days <laughs> when the threat environment is so high in the United States irrespective of party, is not acceptable. And I think it's very important to understand that. This is not theater. This is not about jockeying. This is about the safety of some of the most highly targeted and valued targets internationally and domestically in the United States of America. So the idea that a report will be finalized in 60 days, let alone (laughs) prior to any actionable uh, decisions that would be made is simply not acceptable. Thank you. It has been 10 mm. days since an assassination mm. attempt on a former president of the United States, regardless mm. of party. There need to be answers. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I was about that. also, I was pleasantly surprised at how uh, representative after representative uh, on the left yesterday referred to Donald Trump as President Trump or former President Donald Trump instead of just Mm-hmm. Donald Trump. I it, I know it's a small thing, mm-hmm. but but I know how much they hate that man. Yeah. And so I really appreciated them constantly calling him President Trump yesterday. Yeah. And it's good to see that they're offering some emotion over this. Yeah. That they are outraged like we are. Stephen Lynch had some things to say. Did he have a range finder? There were some reports that uh-huh. that the individual had a range finder. That would that would certainly raise my suspicion. <laughs> Why? Uh, Listen, did he have a range life. finder? Ah, okay. Yes, he did. But may oh. I explain that sure. at a number of our sites, especially when you're at outdoor venues, mm-hmm. uh, a range finder is not a prohibited item. It is sometimes an item that is brought in by mm. individuals if but you're going to be. Did in anybody back- anybody confront him on that? Anybody ask him questions? What are you doing with the? Range finder? No. Anybody confront him on on his presence where, where he was in proximity to the president? Uh, so again, to my knowledge, again. I believe that that was the process that was taking place was to locate the individual. Did they, did they confront him? Did they go up to him? Did they mm-hmm. talk to him? I do not have those details at yeah, this that, time. Those are important details. What the hell? You don't have those details. How is that possible? It's only day nine. Yeah. So what can you expect? To- it's not possible. At least she knows. Nobody, nobody confronted him. Oh, he's got a rangefinder. Hmm. <laughs> Let's move on. That is that foreign cartoon we played yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, he's taking right. the shot. Uh, are you sure there's no clay pigeons? <laughs> I mean, what? You, this is not 
believable in I a know. script. I know. It's embarrassing. Uh, it's it, greatest it, nation on earth. It's also very suspicious. Yeah. And that's why there's so many conspiracy theories right now. Because, you know, when they won't give us any answers, and she didn't, she didn't give us any answers. So people are going to fill in the gaps themselves. And you're not going to like what they come up with. <clears throat> and one of their theories might actually be true. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Nancy Mace was in a, had some righteous anger yesterday. I love this clip so much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, D- Director Cheadle, the American people are watching and they're wondering if there are any questions you can answer honestly mm-hmm. today. <laughs> so, Director Cheadle, I have a series of questions, very specific questions. I want very specific <laughs> answers. Most of my questions are going to demand a yes or no answer. Do you understand? <laughs> I do. Okay, my first question. Both sides of the aisle today have asked for your resignation. Would you like to use my five minutes to draft your resignation letter, <laughs> yes or no? No, thank you. Uh-oh. <clears throat> hmm. Was this a colossal failure? Well, it was a failure. Yes. Yes or no? Was it a colossal failure is the question. Yes or no? I have admitted this is a terrible... This is a yes or no series of questions. Was this a colossal failure? Yes or no? (laughs) Yes. Was this tragedy preventable? Yes or no? Yes. Has the Secret Service been transparent with this committee? Yes. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today... As being transparent, yes hmm. or no? I have always been yes eager to or no. You didn't want to answer the, the question. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. <laughs> you stated earlier, Good. Secret Service is not wow. political. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News, Politico's playbook, and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political? Yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. Oh, of course you don't. That's bull****. So, Mr. (laughs) Chairman, I would like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the record articles by Punchbowl News, Political Playbook, Washington Post, all uh, done at 5.24 a.m., 6.12 a.m., 6.34 a.m., a solid three to four hours before this committee got your statement. Without objection to order. Okay. Is the Secret Service fully cooperating with our committee? Yes. <laughs> okay. You say you're fully cooperating with this committee. Um, on July 15th, this committee sent you a list of demands of information that we wanted. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes I, or no? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee as we asked on July 15th, yes or no? I would have no. to get back to you. That is a no. You're full of <laughs> today. You're just being completely dishonest. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Mr. Dishonest. Mr. Chairman, I want to... Mr. Ch- I'm Come on. We have to maintain decorum in this committee. Any, no matter how have you provided upset any and all memos to this committee that we've asked you on July 15th? Have you provided all memorandums within the Secret Service? I no. would have to get back to you on that. That is a no. You are being dishonest or lying. Like, I, I just, you're being dishonest here with this uh-huh. committee. These are important questions that the American people want answers to, and you're just, you're just dodging and, and talking around it in generalities, and we had to subpoena you to be here, and you won't even answer the questions. We have asked you repeatedly to answer our questions. This isn't hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, that was really good. Yeah. Really, it really was well done. One of the more for her. entertaining days in Washington D.C. Oh, wow. history, for sure. Jeez, and she just maintains that uh, you know she's going to have to get back. It's an ongoing investigation. I'm getting so sick and tired of hearing mm-hmm. it's an ongoing investigation. I can't answer any questions. Uh let me share with you a letter from uh, Jace, CEO and founder, Dr. Sean Rowland. Dear friends, in these times of unprecedented uncertainty. I feel a profound need to reach out and add my voice of warning. The attempted assassination of a former president of the United States last week brought me to tears. Our hearts and prayers go out to the uh, comparator. I have a hard time saying his name. Uh, Comparator family and those who were personally affected by this horrible tragedy. 
I acknowledge there are no words to appropriately address the loss of a father shielding his family. I'm a father and would do anything to protect my own family. I'm also a physician and have taken an oath to be a healer. These two commitments are deeply personal to me. They're the driving force for what I do at Jace every day. They're why Jace exists. Our mission at Jace is to empower everyone to be better prepared medically. I strongly believe that. Due to the current state of affairs in our country as we approach a very consequential election and considering the tumultuous global landscape, now is the time to be prepared. My goal is not to incite fear, but to encourage prepar- preparedness. Uh, I add my voice to many who are urging individuals and families to take steps today to address their level of preparation for the hard times that may arise tomorrow. Thank you for taking this message to heart. At Jace, we will continue to plan for the worst, yet hope for the best. Together, we can navigate these challenging times with resilience, confidence, and faith. With sincere concern and best wishes, Dr. Shane Roland, MD. Uh, Really good stuff. You know, you don't have to fear when you're prepared. That removes a lot of of the fear and anxiety that you feel. So get prepared with the Jace case. Uh, Go to jace.com, enter the promo code PAT at checkout. You'll get a really great discount on your order. That's promo code PAT at J-A-S-E, jace.com. Pat Gray is unleashed. Uh, Representative <clears throat> Jerry Connolly had some things to say for Kim uh, che- Cheadle. Yeah, we'll have to get to that after the break. We don't have time for that. Oh, I'm here. sorry. Yeah. Andy Biggs here. Let's do Andy Biggs. Real okay, quick. Andy Biggs. Your agency has a no-fail mission, and on Saturday, July 13th, your agency spectacularly failed. The failure resulted in the death of Corey Comprator and serious injury to two other rally attendees, David Dutch and James Copenhaver, besides the injuries to President Trump. It is unfathomable that a 20-year-old on the radar of Secret Service and local law enforcement before President Trump went on stage was able to climb onto the roof of a building with a rifle and fire off multiple rounds before he was neutralized. Was Mr. Crooks acting alone? Again, I would have to refer you to the FBI's investigation. What? Was he just a lone gunman? I would have to refer you to the FBI's investigation Say for what motive. Now? Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh, no. Wow. Yes or no? Nancy Mace asked you yes or no. Going to be a good discussion with Steve Baker coming up on Friday. Oh. He's been all over this situation. Pat Gray, Unleashed. Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. I am Patrick Joseph of Helena, son of Joseph Patrick of Butte. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, great to have you with us. 888 Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Um, wow. We've got that great hearing from yesterday where both sides were taking on Kimberly Cheadle the head of the U.S. Secret Service Agency, and they should. I, I'm just a little surprised uh, that Democrats joined in. I think we needed they that. They did. I think we needed that. Yeah, hearing. very yeah. much so. America needed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now, you started to throw it to the Jerry Connolly clip. It's a long <clears throat> clip, and understand that this was the exception to the rule, I think, as <clears throat> far as... Uh, I mean, he went after her. He distorted her. But he didn't want to go after her. Yes. He Hmm. lost his mind because she wasn't playing ball as he tried to pin all of America's ills on guns. No, geez. (laughs) It was true. Yes, and and to the point where he was like, he got that rage blindness. He threatened her job because she didn't agree with him yes on the second amendment yep. effectively wow and he his voice hit high octaves i mean he hmm. lost his mind this is entertainment and so pathetic quite frankly ubiquity of weapons guns in america especially assault weapons or semi-automatic weapons that's helped your job 
and the mission of your agencies. See, first right? he says it's, it wrong. It's made it less complicated. Isn't that true? See, he said it wrong first. I'm sorry, I'm not understanding your question. Real simple. No More one. guns, especially dangerous ones, have made your job protecting people easier. Okay, so Is that not right? What are you... I think What's he trying that, to say here? Uh, He's messing from up. Direct the cheater. He doesn't it's realize. Simple he, English. No, what a moron. More guns. Are, do they make your job more complicated or less complicated? So now he gets it protecting right. Yeah. These 36 clients and visiting heads of state and heads of government that come to Washington. I think the Secret Service needs to take into account. I didn't ask that. that oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I asked a simple question. Oh. No, you, you really didn't. a simple answer. <laughs> the ubiquity <laughs> of guns. Dangerous weapons in America, like AR-15s, uh -huh. yeah. has that made your job, that is to say the mission of the Secret Service, easier or more difficult? Pause it for a sec. I so if we went back to throwing rocks at each other, mm -hmm. okay, let's say we get rid of all weapons, okay. all guns, all knives, bows and arrows, we just throw rocks at each other. Would that make her job easier or harder? <laughs> What an asinine question. This is just I mean, it starts off on the wrong buffoonery. foot because he screws yeah. up his own question yeah, he twice. Does. Yeah, he does. Which confuses her. And then tells her how simple it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it actually... Hey, dummy, it, pay it, attention to me. And it just devolves from there. Okay. All right. Let's see the rest of this fun. I think the threat environment for protecting our... Uh, Secret Service uh, protectees is always difficult, and that's mm -hmm. dynamic, and it's always evolving. Thank you. We stipulate it's always difficult. I Again, this is a simple one. Is it, though, from you? Do, does the ubiquity Chair. of guns make your job easier or more difficult today? Gosh. I understand the Second Amendment rights of individuals. I didn't ask that question. I'm not questioning the Second Amendment. I'm asking yeah, a you simple are. analysis, Director Cheadle, and I can tell you, Mm. You're not making my job easier in terms of assessing your qualification for continuing mm. on as director. Okay. Please mm. answer the question. You're the head of the Secret Service. You're speaking on behalf of 8,000 members who put their lives on the line. We just had a failure by your own admission. Do guns make your job easier or harder? I think the job of the Secret Service is difficult on every day, mm -hmm. and we need to make sure that we are mitigating all threats, whether that be uh, that weapons, isn't my question. Personnel. That is not my question, and now I think you're evading the answer, which is not a hard one. Welcome to the party. Mm -hmm. I am sorry that you feel that way, sir. <laughs> How else could I feel, Director Cheadle, when you're clearly avoiding mm -hmm. a direct answer to a very simple declarative question? Question. I'm we almost lost a presidential candidate the other day. Mm -hmm. A 20-year-old had access to his father's AR-15 and got on top of a roof within 500 yards or feet of the podium. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm asking you, did the <clears throat> availability of that AR-15, which is replicated all across America, make your job harder or easier? And you're not willing to answer that question? And you think and, and you wonder why we might have a lack of confidence in your continued ability to direct this agency? I understand your question, and that's the environment. Well, if you understand my question, why not answer it? Because it's the environment that the Secret Service works in every day. <laughs> right. Yeah. That, that doesn't tell me anything. That's the, that's the environment we work in. <clears throat> I, had an, I had an attack on my office a year ago. I know a little bit about violence, too. Huh. He came to kill me. When he couldn't, he beat one of my staffers eight times with a baseball bat on the head. Ugh. We live with the threat of violence. So do baseball bats make your job easier or harder? from the director uh, of the Secret Service Connelly. would be helpful. And I'm sorry you've chosen to evade it. Oh, this guy. What a moron. He sucks. I mean, what do you want her to say? What do you? Yeah, there should be no guns. That's exactly okay. what he was, he was <clears throat> hoping yeah. to That's say. That's what he wants her to yes. say. Or baseball bats. Or baseball bats. As we've learned. Yes. Oh but don't gosh. let that bog you down, though. There's still more good stuff in there. There's plenty of good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I love the Pat Fallon thing. Yes. <laughs> this is brilliant. Uh, Pat All Fallon. the law enforcement I've spoken with over the last nine days are amazed that the AGR rooftop was not secure. And you want to know why? Because it's dangerous. <coughs> I have mm -hmm. never had any long gun training in my life. Mm. I own an AR-15, and I, last time I shot it, I shot it one time my whole life. It was six years ago. 
That is until Saturday, where we recreated the events in Savoy, Texas, where you recreated what happened in Butler. I was lying prone on a sloped roof at 130 yards at 6.30 at night. And I knew that he had a scope, I didn't know what kind, red dot or magnified. So I shot eight rounds from both. You know what the result was? 15 out of 16 kill shots. And the one I missed would have hit the president's ear. That's a 94% success rate. And that shooter was a better shot than me. It is a miracle President Trump wasn't killed. Corey compared Torrey's life is over because that damn shooter made it on the roof. And it wasn't the roof that was dangerous. It was a nut job on top of the roof. Mm -hmm. You know what else is dangerous? I believe your horrifying ineptitude and your lack of skilled leadership is a disgrace. Your obfuscating today is shameful. And you should be fired immediately and go back to Garden Doritos. Mr. Chairman, how you about? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> go back to Garden Doritos. Uh-huh. It's a call back to our days as head of security for Pepsi, right? Yeah. yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Now, I was just I informed that. that our close captioning is uh, mm-hmm. referring to Director Cheetle as Director Cheeto. So that that fits nicely. That fits really well. Director Cheeto. Yeah. In front of Congress. And yesterday. that's why Elon called her. Oh, the day after the assassination. Oh, did he really? Yes. <laughs> Director <laughs> Cheeto. <laughs> Good stuff. Go back to guarding Doritos. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he was he was uh, fired up, yes, and he, he should was. be. He he should be. We're all fired up over this. It's inconceivable that this could have happened. I mean, it's so preventable. And you know, it's bad enough that Donald Trump lost part of his ear. But the really horrific thing is Corey Comprator and losing his life and being taken from his family uh, so senselessly. It didn't have to happen. There's no reason for it. The guy was spotted, I don't know how many times. Nobody knows how many times, but it was several. It was up to uh, an hour or so before the event, spotted with the rangefinder. The laser rangefinder, spotted with the with later on spotted with the rifle in his hand. You don't even ask the guy questions. <laughs> it wasn't too hot on the roof for him. I'd like to point no, out. No, right? Yeah, he somehow survived it. Somehow survived it. Wow, uh, incredible. And you know when you just you don't even secure the ladder that leads to the roof. You could have. That's the least you could have done. Just post somebody there. Not tough. It's really not tough. Uh, but it apparently was for her, and uh, Ro Khanna had some words for her as well. Now, Director Cato, would you agree that this is the most serious security lapse since President Reagan was shot in 1981 of the Secret Service? Yes, sir, I would. Hmm. And, you know, do you know what Stuart Knight did? when he was in charge at the time of the Secret Service. Do you know what he did <laughs> afterwards? He remained on duty. He resigned. <laughs> he resigned. <laughs> and Stuart Knight nope. was not a Democratic <laughs> appointee or Republican appointee. Look, I'm not questioning your judgment. I, and I just don't I think am. this is partisan. Mm-hmm. If you have an assassination attempt mm-hmm. on a president, a former president, or uh, a candidate, you need to resign. That's what Stuart Knight did. He was a Republican appointee, and he took responsibility. And I, mm. I think you need to reflect. This is not a question of you. It's a question of the American people. You cannot go leading a Secret Service agency mm-hmm. when there is an assassination attempt on a presidential candidate. Yeah. Yep. It's not hard. It's not hard. You need to go away. You know, go back to guarding Doritos. <laughs> That's all you have to do. It's not it's not a tough decision. This is it's not like this is the only gig she can ever have, she can ever get. Just you don't need to be doing this. And it's inconceivable that she hasn't been fired already. If she won't step down, fire her. And who would do that? The president? Yeah. So who's the president? Uh Barack Obama needs to call her. Thank you. And say, get out. <laughs> Puddin, get out. Get out. So, Barack, do it. Give her a call. And He's got other things. When she picks up, just say, hey, pumpkin, uh, get out. Okay? <laughs> You're done. You're done here. All right? 
I mean, it's been cute. It's been really nice. We gave this a shot, you know, but you really didn't work out. So, uh, hasta la vista, baby. Uh, Virginia Fox also had some words with Kimberly Cheadle. Uh, but you think you are the best person in the country to head the Secret Service. I think that I am the best person to lead the Secret Service at this time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so now we're done. <laughs> okay, all okay. right. Well, then. She thinks she is, so we're man, done. She put me in my place, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Well, the president can't call her now and tell her, because she's the best person for the job well, that kinda, at this time. Yeah, that kind of messes up what, what you just uh, yeah. requested before, it does. huh? It does. It completely changes everything now. Oh, I didn't realize you were the right person for this job at this time. If it was 1860 or, say, 1864 okay. and you're guarding Abraham Lincoln, maybe that's not the proper time for you, but it's not that time, right? We just had a, a presidential candidate get his ear shot off. I wouldn't worry about that. You're the perfect person for the gig right now. It was only his ear. That's why she yeah, was just his she's ear. perfect. Yeah. If it was someone else, who would have been dead? Exactly. So. Exactly. I mean, seriously, she didn't. She did her job so poorly that it was just the grace of God that uh, allows Donald Trump to continue to walk the earth. You know, Cory Comprator doesn't have that. Uh, he doesn't have that right now. So it's really sad. And uh, it's despicable that she just sits there and says, looks us in the eye. It's again, it's I am not here. I am the best person in the nation for this job at this time. How can you even make that claim? <laughs> Pretty amazing. Uh, Lauren Bobert, of course, had some things to say as well. Do you continue to assert the slope of the roof as a credible reason for leaving this p- position undefended? First, I'll go back and correct that there was no order to hold fire. Our agents and officers uh, have the ability to neutralize a threat at the time so you don't know, see it. I'm sorry, you don't know the communication that was taking place or how long he had him in his sights because you haven't spoke to him, but you do know that there was no order to hold fire. I can tell you the way that our personnel are trained. They are trained on the use of force scale that when they see a threat, they are authorized to neutralize that threat. There is no, they don't have to ask for permission. You excuse the roof being unmanned because of the slope. Do you stand by that assertion? The roof was not covered with an individual on it because there was overwatch provided. Apparently not. Uh, No, there was no overwatch provided. Uh, This is is very evident. President Trump was shot. A man died. There was no oversight provided. I, I, I find this rather maddening, especially now knowing that you do have answers from the FBI who you have been passing the buck to mm-hmm. this entire hearing, mm-hmm. not answering a congressional hearing. Members of Congress, while you are under oath and under a subpoena, I, I find it maddening that the director, mm-hmm. um, uh, th- that our country has come centimeters away from oblivion under your watch. You have answers. You are refusing to give those to us, uh, directing us to the FBI, and this entire thing is a waste of time. You, mm-hmm. you are responsible for the loss of a life and the shooting that took place on President Trump. You do need to resign. This is bipartisan. You need to be fired. You do not need to hold this position. You are not the best for this job. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and she was talking about how Director Cheeto uh, constantly passed the buck to the FBI during that hearing, and and that's a fact. Um, I don't know if y'all have heard this, but um, speaking of the FBI, uh, Mario uh, Nafal, uh, he posted yesterday uh, via Gateway Pundit, cell phone data, y'all buckle up, cell phone data shows frequent visitor to Crooks and FBI building. Mobile ad data analysis by the Heritage Foundation's Oversight Project revealed that someone who regularly visited Thomas Crook's Pennsylvania home also visited a building in D.C. near an FBI office. The analysis identified nine devices linked to Crook's home and work. These findings suggest Crook's did not act alone in the assassination attempt on Trump. Um, hmm. Yeah, Steve Baker will have much more on that Mm. on Friday. Oh, yeah. And by the way, she keeps talking about the slope 
Mm-hmm. Um, here's the roof. Representative Eli went to the actual roof, and this is what she shot. You can play it, Joe. And that's the roof with a perfect Look view at that of slope. president. Holy like, cow. That's where he stood. Oh, yeah, that was the one that Fallon said. I think it was Fallon, right? Or maybe it was Andy Biggs who was like, that's an ADA compliant roof. In other yes. words, it's not even sloped enough no. to prohibit wheelchair, wheelchair access. Wheelchair access. <laughs> As you can see, she was in a, in a room that you could see straight uh-huh. into the president. Sloped roof. Incredible. And did I also well, see... But it was hot. You it can't was take hot. the heat element away. Yes. It was hot up there. Well, I don't know. Maybe Stan, where the representative was standing with this sharpshooter, because she was right there in front of the building, inside of a building. Pause it. She's inside Pause of it. a building right Pause there. It. Pause it. Yeah. Okay. So, hold on. Look at that. I think you just said what I was about to say. Is that the window where a a good guy yes. was stationed? Yes. Who... <laughs> Oh, dear Lord. And could have been looking right at Trump the entire time. Yes. And yeah. obviously seen crooks in his sights. Yes. Mm-hmm. I cannot with this government. That's what I I'm can't. saying. It's like, I cannot. Okay, it was too hot, but you could have just posted yourself inside that, right? that room. Look, bro, we'll give you air conditioning. Just train your sights right here. I, I cannot. You could put a blanket down. You could put a blanket down. You ever been to the beach yeah. with hot sand? You could put an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, this is enraging. Mm hmm. This is, is uh, the government has gone far beyond incompetence of every level. Now it's just dangerous for everyone, right up to the former mm. president mm. and likely future president of the United States. I mean, this is madness, man. And we also have this is clip twenty four. How is this not Representative Carlos planned? walking on the rooftop? Oh, let's see that. I'm standing in approximately the site where the shooter was, as you can see. I'm a 70-year-old man, and this, is where this roof is not a big deal. So for somebody to tell me that Secret oh, Service agents couldn't been here. Gosh. It's worse crazy. for them. So you can see yeah. that. Yeah, but it's slow. You've got a clear line. Of sh- clear line. Wow. To the president. Wow. And by the way. President, not president, Director Cheetos hasn't been to the site at all. Yeah, that's right. We learned that yesterday. She hasn't even gone there. She hasn't gone there. I I swear. I mean, it just... Pretty crazy. If if you're going to do an inside job, at least make it look like it wasn't. Yeah. Oof. Uh, we got the journalist. Oh, comments this is fun. This after the hearing, the hearing ends, and you know the raw feed is still playing, and you hear somebody from the press uh, basically sum up uh, the Cliff Notes version of what you just saw at the hearing. Situation. Yeah, that's what we call a smackdown. <laughs> that's what we call a smackdown. It's not good either. You, know, you can't be happy about that. No. Sad. <laughs> There you go. That's what we call a a smackdown. smackdown. Well, Americans are tired of a lot of things, uh, but we're tired and frustrated by this stalling economy, inflation, the endless wars that we're fighting, the relentless assault on our values. Thankfully, there are companies like Patriot Mobile that still believe in America and our Constitution and our traditional values. That's why I'm proud to partner with Patriot Mobile. They're, They're on the front lines fighting for the First and Second Amendments, sanctity of life, our military, our first responder heroes. Uh, Take a stand for conservative causes. Put America first by switching to Patriot Mobile today. What I love about Patriot Mobile, you don't have to sacrifice quality or coverage to align yourself and, and where you spend your money with your values. You can align with your values and get great service. Plus, they have 100% U.S.-based customer service. And their team will find the best plan to fit your needs. You can keep your number, change it if you want. You can keep your phone, you could upgrade. Whatever you need to do, Patriot Mobile will work with you. PatriotMobile.com slash Pat. Or call 972-PATRIOT right now. Get a free month when you use the offer code PAT. Don't get fooled by other providers pretending to share your values or have the same coverage. They don't, and they can't. So join me. Make the switch to America's only Christian conservative mobile provider, Patriot Mobile. Go to PatriotMobile.com slash Pat or 972-PATRIOT for a free month of service today. Pat Gray Unleashed. We'll be right back after this. Welcome. 
Thanks for being with us. Uh, got some tweets here. Angelo10. How was that particular location chosen and by whom? That's a question no one's asking. <laughs> Patrick Hill. Dems yesterday during the hearing showing they realize if anything happens to Trump, he becomes a martyr and the Dems are done. Uh, Toasty Mitts Politics. Cheadle came into that hearing yesterday with her government mandated talking points at a chip on her shoulder. From the mystical Mr. Sean's, you guys need a perjury bell to ding when mm. you play the clips of Cheadle. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Uh, Hee Haw the Viking. I enjoy watching Congress prove Cheadle is an idiot and completely unqualified as much as the next guy, but why wasn't she dragged out of there in handcuffs? Mm-hmm. Fair question. And Muffer Squish, she will always be Director Cheeto to me. <laughs> Too perfect. Yeah. Oh, speaking of perfection, is we got the President of the United States on the line again? Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Hello, uh, Mr. President. <laughs> Hello, Sean. Sean. Huh? You're, you're a great... Not a great American, but an okay, I guess an okay sort of. Oh. Anyway, huh. uh, I've said too much. I've said too much. Dan, is that you? Dan, hello. Uh, hi, Mr. President. Yeah, hello. Um, Glenn. What 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 has prompted you to call us back? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out here. No, I'm I'm calling for rush. I haven't talked to him today. Okay. Um, yeah. No? No, that's not... Uh, okay. No, you're... Uh, yum, 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 meow, 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 uh-huh. meow, meow, meow. That's good. Anyway, yeah. I, I've said too much. Yes. I gotta go. You gotta... All okay, right. well, it was a pleasure talking to you because... Thanks, Sean. No, you're it's, an okay uh, American. Not Sean. All right, Bye. Hmm. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. The security secretary. I'm not the security secretary. I'm not. Uh, okay. Some rumors swirling around right now yeah yeah we just found out about some medical issue that he had in las vegas last week and so we think. nobody knows what it was but um uh, according to a local nbc affiliate ksnv umc uh university medical center is that what it is yeah university Med- medical center was on standby after being alerted about a possible medical issue with President Joe Biden last Wednesday afternoon. But the president's team decided along the way not to take him to the hospital. The plans changed pretty rapidly after that. It was relayed over uh, to an on-duty officer on the president's detail that they would need to clear an express route to Harry Reid International Airport. The police assigned to the president's detail and the emergency in-the-box squads then redeployed their resources to getting the president out of town as fast and as safe as humanly possible, which they did. And Air Force One took off so fast that people said it shook. And it probably is a smoother ride than that normally. But uh, they got out of Dodge really fast. He had some kind of issue. We haven't seen him since. He's not been spotted even when he stepped down from his campaign, he didn't do a video. I mean, is it that big of a deal that you need to show up on camera for that announcement? Sort of, since, I don't know, it's never happened before. Yeah, I, I think it was kind of a big deal. Well, it's not like Zoom or FaceTime or Skype has been invented yet. Mm-hmm. So he oh, can't jump on a video right. call. I'm That's not you, been man. invented yet. Huh. I'm telling you, man. Weird. I, he... I think he had a stroke based on the sound of his voice. I don't know if his mm. face is droopy or what, but uh, uh, I'd like to see the first time we see him. Is he still going to be wearing that hat? Is he supposed to? He's supposed to appear today, right? No. At two thirty? No. He's supposed to land supposed and be to at the land. White House. So oh, how are we going to get him from the okay. car to the? We're wow. going to have a team of like four hundred people. Wow. Uh, okay. Mm. It's, it's pretty be- interesting. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know what the I deal swear, is. If he's wearing a hat today, if we mm -hmm. catch a, a glimpse of him and he's wearing a hat, and that, your hat that, is that, that man hit his he head. He hit his something. head. That's, that's my that's okay. my theory. Got my it. theory is he had mm. a stroke. He fell, hit his head. It's just oh, figured. he doesn't need to have a stroke to fall. We know that, right? That's a fair blows. point you make. Yeah, if the wind mm -hmm. blows, he falls. Yeah, that's fair. he might have he might have fallen and hurt himself. Maybe Harry could Harry be that. Reed Was did. he playing with his dog? Right. Man. In the shower. Mm, he doesn't need to play with his dog to fall either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to be standing for some reason, and then he can fall at any time. I think we've seen that. Uh, but CBS News quoted Joe's brother, Frank Biden. This is what started the ball rolling yesterday with the, you know, where's Joe? Is he mm -hmm. alive? Is he well? It's a strange comment <clears throat> here. CBS News had a brief conversation with Frank Biden, one of President Biden's two younger brothers, and here's what he told us. He said, I'm incredibly proud of my brother. Selfishly, I will have him back to enjoy whatever time we have left. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> wait. wait. <laughs> to enjoy whatever time we have left? He was just running for president three days ago. Tip-top shape a month ago. Uh, wait, whatever time he has left? What? That was weird. Very, very telling, perhaps. I mean, who knows what's going on. One day we're all going to find out, you know, either much later in this life or in the next. The tell-all books and it's gonna are going to be incredible. It's going to be incredible, yeah. It's going to be amazing. Um, so, who knows what's wrong with it? But I think something is. Mm -hmm. I mean, beyond the, the, all the stuff we know about already, the dementia... COVID-19. I don't believe he has COVID. I don't think that's it at all. Mm -hmm. Something else happened, and it's it's much more serious than we were led to believe. Ugh. I don't Come think there's on, any man. denying that. What's hmm. so bad is that the world is watching this right. chaos right. unfold. They don't know who the leader of America is right now. I'm sure they do, like you've been alluding to. It's definitely Barack Hussein Obama. But... It, it, the fact that, that we had a world leader yesterday uh, arrive for a week in D.C., mm -hmm. Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister mm -hmm. of Israel, arrives and then there's no official to greet him, that's a problem. We couldn't, because Kamala's too busy running for president and going mm -hmm. out to Delaware. Joe Biden is hunkered down, recovering from his fall, allegedly. Uh, Ant Anthony Blinken couldn't show up there. What's our deal? God, that's what, incredible. Right? I mean, who are even, who are these people? Uh, hi, I'm, I'm the airport they? manager here, and I uh, appreciate you landing. Nice to meet you, Mr. Uh -huh. Netanyahu. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, <laughs> how's that How's that war going? Anyway, this, let me show you the concession stand. Ugh, wow. What are we doing? Wow. I, I hope that's the ambassador. Let me yeah, we booked you an Airbnb. Uh, in, Is that okay with you? Yeah, fairly close to Washington, D.C. It's uh, uh, You're in Roanoke. Virginia. That is not the U.S. Uh, ambassador to Israel. Geez. Oh, that was not it? No. Neither huh. of them? Wow. Wow. I wonder who that was. Uh, Nobody uh, we know. It was the airport manager. <laughs> I already told you. <laughs> well, he's, he, well, I mean, let's not get ridiculous. He Parking just, lot attendant. He somebody. just manages Parking that runway. Yes. Yeah. He's like, ah, he landed right. at my runway. Cool. Wow. At least give it to the general. Like so the general on. of the who, base. Like, uh -huh. have him talk who, to him. Yeah, have someone show up in uniform. In uniform. Something that looks official. Yes. All right, who greeted Netanyahu at runway? That's I'm, astounding. That is. That's disrespectful. And that's a major that's ally. What it is. That's really disrespectful. I mean, I, I think Israel's probably second only to Great Britain, right? The UK, and then Israel. And they're right there, neck and neck. I mean... We probably we give Israel more money than anybody, so uh, they're fairly important to us. <laughs> Tell you, man. We but don't worry. We send the the what is it? The airport manager and yeah. the what do you want? Runway manager. I say it was a parking attendant. Parking attendee. Yeah. So yeah. your car is right yeah. there. Yeah, your car is right over here. Uh, good luck. It'll take you to the Airbnb in Wait, no uh, Roanoke, Virginia. That's just a few hours. From D.C., you'll be within I'm just five hours of the nobody. That seems White to be House. the big mystery on on Twitter. Is nobody really? knows <laughs> who was shaking his hand. <laughs> hey, mom, did you see wow. me on TV? Yeah, it's my big day. I got to shake Benjamin Netanyahu's hand because the White House called and said, "Sorry, we can't get anybody there." Is that manager still work there? 
have him greet him. Is Bob Bob still working there? Yeah, Bob the Bob. airport manager. That's or who run, that was. The, run, the runway chief. Yeah. Bob runway chief. <laughs> and can you believe that? I mean, I swear. No secretary of state? Right. Nobody? Deputy secretary? Deputy secretary. This right. is seriously the biggest mystery on Twitter right now. Is Spokesperson of some kind? Uh, I don't know. Treasury secretary? The Maybe the Secretary of Agriculture could Pete show Buttigieg. up. Give him something to do. Pete hey, Buttigieg. Let's transportation. Transportation. Yeah. Let's yeah. get him yeah. an HHS. Somebody. Just get. <laughs> can we get somebody? HUD? Can we get HUD? HUD. Uh, what wait. is he doing? <laughs> what is HUD doing right now? Uh, who's the Greens are after? There you go. Oh, maybe Mike John, John Kerry. You know what? Mike Johnson should have showed up. Mike yeah. Johnson should have He should have been up. like, hey, you know what? Uh, the Democrats suck. Welcome right. to America. Yeah. Mm. Jeez, that's despicable. That's really bad. And it does show, again, it shows something's wrong at the White House. Something's radically well, yeah. wrong. Kamala was too busy greeting um, uh, NCAA athletes before she hopped over to uh, Delaware. What, where's uh-huh. the clip of her? 19? Oh, 19. Yep. Yeah, this is where she's standing in for Joe at another right. event. Okay. Our President Joe Biden wanted to be here today. He is feeling much better and recovering fast. Mm. And he looks forward to getting back mm-hmm. on the road. And I wanted to say a few words about our president. Mm, Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched in modern history. In one term, he has already, yes. He's already screwed up the country (laughs) almost beyond recognition. Mm. Okay, so what time did he I watch this after I watched Joe Biden call in. That sounds Mm -hmm. like something you said at a funeral. Her comments about Joe Biden doing mm-hmm. such a great job. Yeah, the past three thank, years. Thank you for fun. permission to clap yeah. for the old man. I'm just trying to do some uh, syncing up of the time here. She was mm. in. I, I guarantee you, she was in Delaware doing the uh, phone call with AI Joe when mm-hmm. Netanyahu landed in DC. There, mm. I assume that's DC. Weird. I, do, do we know? Maybe it was very weird. And even if it was. Where, which direction you'd land? You'd land in DC. You wouldn't come in the other way. No, you wouldn't California. come in the other yeah. way. No. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out if that was like a stopover. Well, it depends if you California believe they're flat as earth, then you do come the other way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let me tell you about the Eden Pure Thunderstorm. These are the best selling uh, air purifiers. They use proven oxy technology, it sends out O3 molecules that quickly destroy viruses and odors mold, mildew, and lots more. They have thousands of five-star reviews. You know it works. You're going to find out why they have so many great reviews the second you you plug it in. And all you have to do is pop up the plug-in and stick it in the wall and turn it on. And it works just like that. Within seconds, you know, even really strong fish smells or pet odors or laundry or garbage, whatever. Uh, it'll wipe out those smells in seconds. Fantastic. No filters to change or worry about or buy. Just fantastic. You're going to love the Eden Pure Thunderstorm. Go to EdenPureDeals.com. Use the discount code PAT3 and you'll save $200 on your order. That's a three set. That's Eden Pure Deals, E-D-E-N, EdenPureDeals.com. Discount code PAT3. Uh, We have breaking news. Uh, Speaker Johnson and Leader Jeffries have announced a bipartisan task force to investigate the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. I'm sure they'll get to the bottom of it, and it won't be at all like the Warren Commission. No. No, somebody's head will roll immediately. Yeah. Only the truth in D.C. (laughs) I mean, I've lost. Does anybody have even an ounce of confidence in in our government anymore to look into these things and then hold somebody accountable. It never happens. Never happens. So I don't expect it to again, but maybe, I mean, both sides were pissed off at the secret service director, Kim Cheadle yesterday. Uh, So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe it will be surprised. Pleasantly surprised. (laughs) It would be nice. Mm -hmm. Looks like housing prices are expected to plummet by 20%. In the pandemic boom towns, you know, when everybody's housing par- price skyrocketed during the pandemic, 
in those same markets now, it's expected to go down now 20%. So, glad we sold already. Um, <laughs> it worked yeah. out well. I was just well. going to say, you jumped out. Yeah, yeah good point. it worked out okay. So, housing prices are expected to plummet. Uh-huh. Yeah. And what are interest rates going to do? I imagine they'll continue to be high or go up. Who hmm. knows? They... They were supposed to come down, right, last year, and they didn't. Yeah, this is... They were supposed to come down this year, mm-hmm. and they haven't. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. The inflation has <clears throat> been uh, transitory for mm. over oh. three years now, <laughs> yeah. if you'll recall. I, I do recall. The early days of the Biden administration. Uh-huh. In fact, this time, three years ago, they, they were <laughs> just starting to, to, to wean themselves off of that word transitory. transitory. As they realized, yeah. oh, crap, what have we done? And here we are. And here we still are, <laughs> years later, with prices uh, skyrocketing, and they continue to, and especially at the grocery store. I mean, that's where that's where people are hit the hardest, I think. Well, the gas station and the grocery store. Those, those things affect all of us, and they affect us pretty much every day. Because you got to eat, and you got to gas up, unless you have an electric vehicle. And then... <laughs> You know, well, the cost of electricity is up as well. Exactly, which (laughs) was up a lot, right? Wasn't the the electricity cost thirty percent? Yeah, I think it was up (laughs) thirty. Yeah, Yeah. my house is more than that, but yeah. yeah. (sighs) But by the way, talking about electric vehicles and stuff, uh, my I no longer have solar panels because they broke over the weekend. Oh no, they broke. They broke the the inverter, not the solar panels. I think that converts it from solar to energy <clears throat> broke mm. so you know it's in under warranty mm. blah 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 so i called tesla and the earliest they could get me could get that fix is september 23rd oh my gosh that is two months from now so you have to pay the electric company like the rest of us for two yep. months mm. for two that months sucks. i'll be joining you guys's ah. complaints of paying 600 dollars and, and, and just to give you a Yikes. perspective on the price of uh, electricity uh, we've lived in the same house now for 12 years uh-huh. And the highest our electric bill ever was uh, for the first 10 or 11 years uh, was $300. Is with high water mark. Oh, wow. Really? High, high water mark was about $300. I'm a miser. Uh, now yeah. it's regularly above $500 oh. in the yeah. summertime. Yeah. Yeah. So, been there. There you go with uh, mm-hmm. the cost of electricity under Joe Biden or Kamala or whoever the hell the president is now. <laughs> Obama. Uh, that's right. Just that's, talked about that's this. That's right. My bad. George and Soros. It's been a weird summer for us. Uh, you know, we're getting these reports from the Middle East that the heat indices. <laughs> the, that's the a new heat one. Indices. No, it's not. <laughs> Gotta uh, be a weather geek. <laughs> they're up to 150 degrees. Now oh, that's wow. temperature combined with humidity, so it makes the heat index really feel hot. I mean, that's dangerous. If it's 148. Heat index. That's uh, thank you. He, thank you for for saying it like a normal human yeah, being. The heat index. The heat index is 140. The heat indices is 150 degrees. <laughs> oh my gosh! I had something. Oh, that's what it was. Um, somebody, uh, a weather guy, posted how unusual it was for uh, there be no activity mm-hmm. in the Atlantic right now. Because remember, oh, remember, right. with, with catastrophic climate change, right. you're supposed to be getting these mega storms, one after, one after another, another, just a train coming across the Atlantic from Africa, a butterfly flaps his wings. Continually and, pounding us. And he said, uh, there's no activity in the Atlantic, <laughs> and there's none forecast through Good. early August. Oh, wow. And it's like, wait Good. a minute, I thought this was the end of the world for weather and storms and whatnot. And, you know, as hot as it's been in certain places, in Dallas, we've had... A pretty amazing summer so far. We've had a few f- really hot days, and we've had a few humid days. Mm-hmm. But we've had really unusual, like 80 degree, not 80, but 85, 88. 88. 85. Loving yeah. the cloud cover this summer here. Uh, the other day it was 82, I think, for the high. I, it's incredible what's happening. If that's global warming, I'll take that all day. Every day. Yes, please. Look, I yes, just, please. I just went to the uh, seven-day graphical tropical weather outlook from NOAA, mm-hmm. your trusty weather source from your federal Look government. Look how clear that is. Tropical Nothing. cyclone activity is not expected during the next seven days. Ooh, wow, that's that. great. Look at that. But again, I thought it was the end of wow. the world because of climate change and I know. weather weirding and all I know. that stuff. 
It was Superstore. Ho- the last three days, it's been hotter in Helena, Montana, on the mean streets uh-huh. than it was in Dallas, Texas. That's awesome. Isn't that incredible? I think it's supposed to be 100 there today. And, Ooh. and here it's 90? I don't know, maybe. And a lot of these places up north, especially in the Rocky Mountain West and the Northeast, they don't even have air conditioning. Right, yeah. Yeah. Because they don't need it. They don't need it. It's like Europe. Yeah, we don't need it. Well, yeah, you do. Because (laughs) every once in a while, it gets hot. And then you suffer, okay? (laughs) So I don't want to hear your whining then. If you don't install central air or a swamp cooler or something... For the times when it does get to 90, you might want to do that, stupids. <laughs> Have you smelled a European in the summer? <laughs> they need air conditioning. What's funny they about do. that, we had a German foreign exchange student land oh, yesterday. No. Oh, and she's no. staying with us, right? Oh, really? And then uh-huh. we went to church and came back, uh-huh. and she was, you know, we didn't make her to come to church. We come in, she is bundled up in two blankets, a what? parka. And I'm like, are you okay? She's like, it's so cold. I'm like, cold. it's 75 in the house. She's like, yes, it's so cold. Can you turn off some of the fans? I'm like, yeah, sure, honey. Like, I'll turn off the fans. but Because it's hot in their house. It's hot in their house. In the summertime, yeah. She was, she was not ready for my Arctic. Your air condition. Welcome yeah. to America. <laughs> uh, that's okay. And welcome to the 21st century. Congratulations. You know what? Yes. You can have her sleep in the uh, garage. Turn that into a True. bedroom. Oh, yeah. True. Get some use out of that, and then she'll feel right at home, and you won't have to deal with... Do you get paid for that? Mm-hmm. Uh, you get a tax credit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Well, you don't think he does this out of the goodness of his own heart? No. I oh, don't. I want to share. <laughs> does Chris do anything out of the goodness? No. He's like Jeffy Light. He's calculating. With scams. Yeah, it's always something There's calculated. There's always on the other hand. There's al- uh-huh. Right. There's always something else, man. <laughs> yep. Every single time. I'm all about the tax credit, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it gets. Uh, also, speaking of global warming, I guess there's some leftists that are pissed off at this new movie, Twisters, because it's about tornadoes. <laughs> and they don't mention climate change oh, in the movie. Oh, I know. I'm going to see I it today. I love that. At 11 a.m., I'm going to see it. I love it. Really? Yeah. yeah it, it sounds like it'd be pretty good. It made $80.5 million. Over the weekend. Not bad. Pretty pretty darn good weekend, yeah. Uh, Despicable Me 4 is up to $259 million since it came out. It was a great movie. It was good. You should take your grandkids, Pat. It's really uh, good. Yeah. Uh, I, and I like those. You do? I like, yeah, oh, I okay. do. I do. Inside Out 2 I haven't seen yet, but you said that was good too, oh, right? Oh, that was fantastic. 590, almost $600 million just here so in the good. U.S., and I think it's over a billion worldwide. Yeah. Long Legs, that's a uh, Nicolas Cage horror movie, and that made $11.7 million. It's up to 44.6 since it came out, and then A Quiet Place. I don't think that's doing as well as they thought it, it was uh, going to, right? It, 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 was, it, it was competition. You've seen it, too? Yeah, I've seen that one, too. Have, yeah. have they pulled, uh, what, what is it, Horizon? Yes, they pulled it. And yeah, they, yeah, it's yeah, not coming to it. theaters. Nope. I just bought it on Apple TV. Oh, you can oh, buy it really? Mm-hmm. You could buy it as of two Have you watched ago. it yet? No, I'm waiting for oh. the wife. I heard that Kevin Costner uh, kind of risked his uh, yeah, his fortune. life fortune. Yes, he did. He did. That's yeah. uh, that's kind of sad. Um, hmm. It is. I like Costner. Yeah. He's I, awesome. And so what, what sucks is that he, he very likely ruined what probably would have been an awesome ending to Yellowstone. Yeah. Yes. For that's, something that that's too is bad. failing miserably. It didn't pay out. Yeah. Yeesh. Well, Glenn was talking about it on the air yesterday. He loved it. Cool. He loved it. He Can't loved Horizon? Yeah. Oh, I loved it too. I mean, Jeffy yeah. really didn't. Me and Jeffy mm-hmm. watched it together. It sounded like he liked it okay and he wanted to love it, but he didn't, is what it sounds like. Is that, is that accurate? I believe that's accurate. Did you? But you liked it. I loved it. You loved I, it. I loved it. Oh, okay. Because it shows like the Americana that like I didn't know. Uh huh. It was very dangerous. Well, yeah, not being day. from here. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Uh, <laughs> you be know, all new so, stuff. So hold up. <laughs> so not only I have that against me, I have the uh, gate guard against me as well. Right. So two things. Not with me. You don't have the gate guard. Oh, okay, against okay, you. okay. No, you just got the that you're not an American. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it with me looking up the prices here of where you could rent this? Uh, uh, you could rent it for nineteen dollars or that. buy it for twenty three. So it's nineteen ninety nine at all your uh, all your uh, you know streaming services, which is, is uh, you you see that price and and you're someone like me and you're like man that is expensive, but really it's not compared to what you would have paid at the theater right. and oh, had to yeah. drive there. And as sit- long as you've got several people watching, sit- that's really cheap. Right. It is. Sit- but also, really instead of spending the 19 bucks, just spend the 23 bucks and then uh-huh. own it. 
Oh, you could. Oh, you could. Because that's own. what I did. I yeah, just until I the EMP it. comes mm-hmm. and then you own Jack Squat. Okay. <laughs> hey, is this? Don't uh, fuck me down. Does this look like a, a scene from the movie? It does. That's actually the horizon. This is the horizon. That's how, that's. It's an artist rendering of yeah. what you will see. So we end. don't get sued. On that's the, the right end. There. Okay. That's the right. that's the, the, beautiful. the ending shot. The sunset. Okay. The sunset is the ending oh, shot. Nicely done. It's an artist rendering. That wasn't the actual uh, no, sun. No, I, I, I'm glad you're that clarifying. Was not that the case. actual sun mm-hmm. going down uh-uh. uh, beneath the horizon. It wasn't. That was just an artist's rendering of that Correct. event yeah. that happens on pretty much a daily basis yeah. on this planet. And that was all the things, right? Yeah. All, all the things. 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 <laughs> what was that from? That was a teachers' union uh, thing. Okay. Oh yeah, that's, that's uh, right. So, so big that's thanks right. to the audience for because yesterday we were like, "What was that? <laughs> How quickly we forget all the things." Yeah, it was just last week, wasn't yes. it? <laughs> all right, we're all out of time. Uh, got overtime coming up. I imagine uh, Hillary's going to join Keith and Chris. Oh yeah, for yeah. The, we're going to drag her in here. An extravaganza today. And what do you uh, want to talk about, Chris? I'll be filling in for Stu on uh, Glenn Show. I want to talk about Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Right. That clip is sad. Yes. And we'll see you back here uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early, for Pat Gray Unleashed. This is Pat Gray Unleashed.